podcast episode 270 for Thursday, May 10th, 2018. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> we need to have blooper reels. We should have blooper reels. Um, what do you call a pony with a sore throat? You promised this would be good. It's great. It's I, great. I don't know. A little horse. <laughs> That's good stuff right there. <laughs> the only funny part is you cracking yourself yeah, up. Well, you know. All right. Anyway, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. We are uh, we're fresh back from uh, Chicago and um, As in the, the pen city, show. The yes. Show the Both. store. What's up? So, uh, but we'll oh. talk about that in a minute. We've got the white tomato. Because we're fr- <laughs> See, this is way better than your joke. <laughs> All right, so we're back from Chicago. The show, the store, the city, bam. We've got, we've got some uh, things that are on sale this week. Oh, I love sale. That we should talk about. Awesome. Go. Me? Why me? Kobe. Oh, you're, you're like, a, like a QVC model. <laughs> Kobe Inc. Um, we're overstocked on a few things, and uh, so certain Kobe Inks are on sale for just a little while. Yeah, but grab a dozen, them, dozen colors or yep, so. Yep, grab them while you can. Um, we're getting ready to do a uh, full store inventory, and I don't want to count all this stuff. Yeah. That's so some of these are good. I like this number yeah. thirteen, this emerald that goes well with the uh, uh, the peacock, the sailor peacock that we had. No, there, um, there are some very pretty colors. There's some good, uh, really good colors here. So you know, my problem is I just don't finish a bottle fast enough. Well, you need a broader nib. No, I just no. I just need to share a bottle with somebody. That's what I need to do. Like, oh, because sharing works. Well, not with pens, not with you, but I could share a bottle of ink with somebody up in the creative department or something. Because I don't ever go through a bottle. Anyway. So Kobe Inc. We got a, we got a lot of choices. I think these are all, most of them here, but almost almost all of uh, the Kobe Inks are twenty percent off. Yes. Uh, this week, um, so that's great. And the other thing. Oh, I love these. Uh, when we'll kind of segue into this, uh, Biscotti silk cases. Um, we may have mentioned uh, these are discontinued. Uh, we have select sizes available, and those are marked down pretty much until they go away. So. We bought all that were left at uh, at Visconti, so we have all the silk cases, blue, gray, uh, and the bronze, which I'm, is kind of nice too. You, you have know, the blue. That, I have the blue <laughs> in the 12 pen, and the bronze is really kind of growing on me. Yeah. That blue is just to die for. Yeah, we've got, uh, what do we got, threes, and I think we have a couple 12s left in the blue, and then we've got some. Uh, you know, maybe I need a <clears> six <throat> in bronze. No, I don't necessarily do. need to carry like all, all the time. of my Pro Gear Slims, this might be a more manageable size. Give it some thought, people. You know, they flip down, that's nice. There's like really no other case that does that. And um, the, the divider goes all the way down. So you some of them only have the divider at the top, and then the barrels of your pens kind of click together. These go all the way down, which is really a nice feature. And I love that you can unzip it. Um, a friend of ours had one of these years ago, accidentally left it at our table, and I have been in love with the design ever yep. since I opened it and started playing with this pen as well. So, that was there. Nice leather around the outside, the silk on the front and the back. Uh, nice nice zipper, and of course, being Visconti, they're, they're, the slots are big enough to hold Homo sapiens and other large pens, 149s, yes. kind of pens, things like that. So Yeah, these are, uh, uh, yeah. Nice can... cases. Uh, those are being discontinued. The leather, however, are coming back. So the all leather Visconti cases will be back, but the silk uh, is going away, and uh, uh, while they last, they're on sale. So, uh, what else? Ink, more ink. More ink. Uh, we did get in a little while back um, the KWZ. Um, most people call it Queezy, uh from Poland. Some really, really beautiful colors. Um, I know everybody hates it when we do this, but well. And some iron galls. Yes. So if you're looking for an iron gall ink, there's a lot of choices. Tons up and tons <coughs> and tons. They're going to hate me for doing this. Uh, up until now, there haven't been a, a whole lot of iron gall choices, but with KWZ, you've got a, quite, a, quite a number of them. So, Gummy berry is really cool. Look at that purple. That's cool. just a The honey's happy nice. The honey looks nice. The bright menthol, purple. Well, the menthol green's not actually bad. That actually reminds me of, uh, of the peacock. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, a lot of really nicely done colors uh, and probably the biggest selection of iron gall you'll find. Yep. Um, all safe for fountain pens. So that's a beautiful and thing. And now available uh, in, at AP Chicago. Yes, so, yes. So go on in there. either store, shop online. It's everywhere. So. Taking over. Very good. And Ink you know, it's, domination. A cute, it's a cute little box too. You know, it's a nice, nice you know, sturdy box. There's, you know, it's very simplistic. It's got a nice logo on it. I like the bottle because it's got a wider mouth. I hate yep. bottles yep. that have a really narrow neck. I always make a mess. Yeah, you can really get it's just me. You can get your whole whole pen, even if you have a large nib, you can get it all completely immersed in there. So without getting all drippy on the sides. Yeah. So all right, what else? Paper. I want the one on the bottom. Happy anniversary. There you go. Uh, Mont Blanc premium paper. Yes. Now we talked about this before. Mr. Paper has talked about this before, in fact. I have uh, one. Mr. Paper did it on the, uh, the now Mont Blanc numbers these just like the number of the pens. So uh, there's a 149, a 146. There's actually a 147. There's a, a 145, a little tiny one. Um, but uh, look at that color. Somebody please buy this or I'm going to take it. You know, they, they do these. You know, they have the little the, ones. The silver, silver lining on the edge of the page. Um, the covers are, are nice and they're flexible. I love it's my really green nice one. paper. I actually and s some of you may remember that I have this thing about beautiful notebooks. Um, I don't I, I like them, but I don't ever use them because once I write in them, they're all messed up. You've written in that one. I know. Isn't that impressive? So I look. peaked. What? I'm using it like a journal. I, however, have not used mine yet. So Mr. Pa Mr. Mr. Paper wrote in. He did his so review. So it's already been messed up. So well, now I you know, can write in it. But I have to. I mean, this is such a nice notebook. I have to decide what I'm going to do with it. But anyway, love these, notes to Lisa. That's what we're going to title it's it. It's not big enough. Oh, <laughs> nicely done. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Um, oh. So anyway, these these are on the site. Yes. And, yes. Um, Buy them because there's a green. I that's kind of cool. That, that is that's, a, you that's know, the same one you have, right? Yes, it green, is. Okay. That is and just a this, gorgeous color. It's bright. It's happy. It's pink. cheery. It's kind of a nice color. It's, it's like a raspberry. The cover's textured. It's oh, kind of nice. I want fruit. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, it's a it's a nice notebook. We have those on the site, um, and uh, probably we'll have them down in Chicago shortly. So. Yes. We um celebrated our anniversary this past week and um brian got actually two pens well, and i got toast <laughs> <laughs> like come on it sounds funny it does sound funny. i'm so much it funnier like than toast. you are well you know so brian had a schaefer legacy legacy that he legacy had heritage yeah actually. legacy heritage that he'd had set aside for quite a while and I mean, probably nine months everything and it kept kept getting like bumped to the bottom of the stack because something else cooler more beautiful more exciting just more urgent kept bumping to the top <laughs> in your opinion <laughs> and so finally it's like okay he didn't really have anything else that he wanted so the schaefer then we went to the Chicago. It's great. I collect I collect legacies. So I have legacy ones, twos, heritages. You know, okay. that that inlaid really maybe the perfect weight distribution, the maybe the most beautiful nib ever on what, a pen. What don't you collect? Give Script it some thought. Oh, that's my job. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, he got this pen and and even I will acknowledge it wasn't all that exciting, but it had been in the pile, so it counts, so and he got it. And then we were at the Chicago show, and Brian found a pen. I wasn't that looking, honest to God, I wasn't looking. You were away from the table. That I qualifies over, as looking. I walked over to talk to Bert Ozer, oh, our good friend. Shopping. And I just, he was talking to somebody, so while he was talking, I happened You're to get a couple of binders of like used pens, and I happened to look, and they're on the table. Was this, this bad boy? You know. I would buy that. Sailor 1911, large. It's Machie. It's um, gorgeous. Really, it's really, really, really well done. done. Um, we'll take some pictures, um, have it on the site. But what's neat about this Not is to it's. Buy, just to um, show off. Yeah, it's, it's maybe 90s vintage. It has the old style trim ring on the end of the section, it's got the old style nib. Um, the Machier <clears throat> is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's great. It's worthy got, uh, of our eighth anniversary. Or, you know, some waterfowl on there. I don't know what specific kind of bird that is, but I'm sure somebody will point it out. And so, before <clears throat> anyone gets really offended, 
because I got toast. Um, what I got was um, a full-length cashmere robe in a heathered tan color that looks, looks kind like of toast. like toast. So and it's it nice toast. and toasty. So it's just fun to watch Brian roll his eyes when I say, you got a gorgeous pen and I got toast. And it's not even on our diet. So thank you. It's beautiful. Of course, now that it's getting warmer, well, I'll still wear it. There you go. Toast. Toast. Uh, what else about Chicago show? You know, got in I Thursday. Got, got in Thursday. Um, we missed the deadline to be able to get in and set up. That was a little disappointing. Um, we did set up on Friday, um, work the show. If You know, traffic felt a little light. Um, I thought so, too. Um, but there were plenty of plenty of folks there, but yep. it seemed like not not like what it has yeah, been in your not, past. Saturday didn't feel quite as busy, which um, you know we still had we still had good sales, but in some ways it was nice to have a little bit more time to chit chat. Right. Uh, we right. got to see our friends Bob and Lori. Mm -hmm. Yep, their trip. Um, we do need to give a shout out to um, Karen's tenth grade student Corey W. She bought a pen for him. And he had a list, really nice handwriting. Yeah. So good job, Corey. Um, and uh, apparently he's uh, he watches us. So okay, awesome. Um, there you go. And I wrote we we signed a little note for him. Okay. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, what else about the show? You bought a pen. <sighs> uh, we sold some stuff. We bought some stuff. We went home. Okay. Well, that's 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 the long and short of it. But that okay. doesn't really say much. Um, <laughs> we went to dinner and discovered a new drink. Was that really new? Well, you know, we well, new to us. New to us. Yeah, we've we've just, never actually, for some reason, we've never had a Moscow I've Mule before. Moscow so meal. we're going to blame Michael and Susan for getting us addicted. Yeah, we now had to, uh, we had dinner with uh, Mike and uh, Michael and Susan from Coles of London, the Visconti uh, distributors. Distributors, and that was that was awesome. Yeah, we had a really good time. Um, um, we went to steakhouse, had a had a great meal. Um, you really got to know them a lot better. And then the next night we went to uh, a different restaurant and they had um, six or seven different options for Moscow mules and we decided to try it. And uh, it was good stuff. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yep. So. There you go, um, that's our new thing. We were kind of getting, you know, we're, we, we kind of hung out with them a, a lot over the weekend. We're getting ready for the Visconti event at the store in that Chicago. That was fun. Yeah, so, wow. Um, they brought out stuff that, <sighs> that wasn't even on the table uh, we must have had a hundred, maybe a hundred different pens. We yes. had, we had eight feet of, eight ten feet of counter space taken up with uh, all of the Scantis, limited editions, current models, new stuff coming out. There were some cool things. New but... skeleton nib coming out. If you're at the show or you're at the at the uh, the Visconti event, that's a wicked, wicked cool nib. It's cool. Is that I on like your it. list? I, it, it might be. It might okay. Be. Um, but yes, watches too. There were watches there. Brian bought me a ballpoint. I bought her a ball. Yeah, I bought you a Botley sub Visconti ballpoint. Oh, it's so pretty. She kept picking it up, and it was this. <laughs> it's new, got rose gold trim. The new I Medici love rose gold. with rose gold trim and a ballpoint. She kept picking it up and going, oh, and then putting it down. And then she'd make that noise. Oh. <laughs> and then she'd pick it up and she'd look at it and she put it in her hand. She put it down. She go, oh. <laughs> and if I said, okay, just order, order me a one separate one for Lisa, yeah. and then order one for the store. So. It's um, pretty. That, uh, rose gold gets It's me a nice every size. Time. You know, it's just that same size as that Davina, but it's just, it's a little bit. It's a perfect size. It's just got gorgeous. Got nice balance to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's look, really, really It kind of matches the color of your hair. So Thank you. you're welcome. And it's rose gold. Really it's really rose gold. Like rose yeah. Gold. So um, we um, uh, ended up buying quite a few things for the Chicago store and a few things for the Appleton store and online. Um, so I'm sure Michael went home happy, yeah, uh, but we had, we had fantastic turnout. So to everyone yep. who showed up, thank you so much. Um, Hope you had a good time. It was, it was fun for us too. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was really, packed, so. it was great. Um, and I haven't had a chance to work with all of the new staff. Um, you went down and trained mm -hmm. them and I stayed home to take care of things here, but it was really great to be able to work with, um, Charles and Dennis, uh, Chris, we've known for a long yep. time, but it was great to be, you know, all together. Um, Everybody did a bang up job. Yeah, they did a great yeah, it was, job. So, it was great. So it was and good. It was nice to kind of sit back and watch them do their thing and uh, and talk to customers. And but you had a lot of people come in. Suzanne uh, Dolov Dolov came in uh, from uh, the Total Office um, and the Penshow.com, I think is what uh, their domain is. Uh, but they came in. That was a nice surprise. Yeah. And uh, always good to always good to see her come in. But 
lots of folks from the show came back, yep. so that was awesome. And uh, quite a few people um, at the show had commented that they had already been to the store, um, so please keep sending in feedback. And uh, so far, everybody can keep their job. I heard everybody was doing well down there, so that's all good. Yeah. But um, now we're, we're really excited and, and really proud of the Chicago store. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to get um, posters and a couple more products, and then it should be mostly should be, yep. set up. Yep. Um, but uh, the Scotty event was a big success. We've got a number of events coming up uh, again in uh, June after, after the Raleigh show. Yep, Retro 51. Uh, Sailor, and then Pilot, and uh, David Oscarson. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. I may have to go down for that one. Uh, Tune in to uh, chicago.andersonpens.com for a full list of all upcoming events and uh, what's going going to happen. So um, three of them in June, Fridays, uh, Saturdays. Yep. And then uh, Yaffa in July. Okay. And I don't know. That'll be good, too. Platinum, I think, is in August sometime. So So awesome. July is... uh, Still open. We're gonna have to okay. fill that up for you. Great. Well, we got a couple of potentials in there. I think we can yes. we can throw in. So um, good stuff, though. But you get you get a big, wide selection. We are, we are, usually have a big selection, but sometimes they'll bring other things. And uh, and you get to talk to the people that are really behind. Yes. Um, behind the product. So. Staff got some great Visconti training, mm-hmm. and um, we got to see them some, some things we don't normally see. Yeah, limited. There that were some limited th- editions that normally you know. I mean, uh, the cool Casa Batlo we you know, was there and. Uh, uh, the watermark, and then there were some other. The what? The watermark. No, before that. The Casa Ballo. I just like to hear you say it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. Um, so it's it's nice, especially for customers, to be able to um, see some of these wild and crazy things that that either we may not carry or you may only see online, and even if they are never going to be in your collection, just come in yeah. and see yeah, them and feel them, them and and check them out. It's just really. Even us, and I would call us maybe a little jaded at this point, it's still really fun to, yeah. to see some of these yeah. things yeah, I can't that wait are till, never going to be in your pocket. I can't wait till uh, the Namiki and the Oscarson event. That's going to be a blast. And we've had we've had John visit us here in Appleton twice mm-hmm. now, uh, and it's still exciting. And to have David Oscarson, that's a real real treat, real honor. Um, and to see his stuff is just... Oh, to die Normally for. Normally it's, be, it's behind eggs glass, in and yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be exciting to... And, and he's such a nice guy. So you got to check out chicago and, uh, and get your schedule cleared for those events. You know, yes. Maybe you got a <coughs> cold coming on uh, <laughs> that day. You could call in sick. So. Um, what else? What else? We, had, we talked about the show. We've got um, a couple things going on next week. Uh, I'll be gone, so we won't have a podcast next week, but... I'm trying to like yeah yeah you're you're real yeah. Brian's <coughs> real gonna te- be gone for a week and I think I'm just gonna take the week off sleep mm-hmm. late yeah, maybe paint sure. the living room mm-hmm. rearrange no. the furniture no, no? sit well, in the you, backyard you, and eat bonbons you can you can paint the paint the living room yes do what you want to do so awesome um, and then we've got R- Raleigh coming up soon the and, end of the uh, month. <clears throat> so but already we just got back well no we got to prepare in advance so <clears throat> but. Anyway, I think that's about it for this week. Uh, Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, Tune in next, not next week, but two weeks weeks for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow us on social media as Anderson Pens and check out the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of uh, updates. Have a great day. That's it. Bye.